Dude, I feel like if we all took an edible and did a podcast, it would turn into a lot of us just going <laughs> and staying <laughs> and saying stupid ass shit. Like we would. I think the people will be here for it. Uh, I mean, I we'll, it would be we'll, a funny it, theme for an episode. Our, Honestly, it's just, it, it's just you and I and Andrew's trying to carry us along. <laughs> <laughs> that would honestly be it. I think if I did take it, it would probably be. Um, this would be. I don't. I don't no. know if I would be funny or if I would just be wigging out the whole time. If I would be anxious, you're quiet. You're gonna be. That quiet. would have to I be something when Taylor comes down to North Carolina. We do a house podcast. Oh, yeah. Just get weird with it. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just set up a camera and welcome. Just, welcome to Board to Death. Oh. We're getting weird with it today. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, Andrew. It'd be like that sometime. Are you drinking Mountain Dew again? It's just lemon water. Lemon (laughs) water? I believe that's called Sprite. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, my bad. (laughs) Do you see they canceled Sierra Mist? Yeah. Yeah, it's, what is it, Starry? Is that what it's called now? I didn't see what they were renaming or what they were moving to. I just saw that they were done with Sierra Mist. Yeah, I, I saw the article, and I actually just saw it in store last night, but, uh, yeah, apparently it's more bright, lemony flavor. I was like, so it's probably just a little more sugar Sierra Mist to compete with Sprite. <laughs> and the design looks totally like, wah, like crazy and everything. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> wah. <Whoa. laughs> miss, I'm going to miss up Sierra Mist. Pour one out for them. 1999 to 2023. They went out. My favorite on, thing y'all? about this cup is... Oh, it's <laughs> oh yeah, I'm. Ha- I have like a 64 fluid ounce, whatever you this call this. The water. Fl- what what do you call it? I keep trying to call it a flask. Hy- it's hy- a flask. Hy- it's a hydro hy- flask. <laughs> okay, can you imagine a 64 fluid ounce flask? <laughs> <laughs> Just up. someone whipping that out of his jacket <laughs> pocket. <laughs> oh, I've been carrying this around all day. It's been a rough day in the mines. <laughs> Wait, normal flasks My- are like six ounces or eight ounces. It's too much. Dude, it's too like much. ten times that much. My dad had these uh, one, those fake pair of binoculars that they're not binoculars at all, but they look oh. like them. You just you fill up both lens. Um, he, he was uh, in charge of bringing those into like football games and stuff when my grandpa used to take them to games. So my Jesus. grandpa would get fucked up for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he yeah, he was a kid, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. They, they ain't going to check the kids' binoculars. Yeah. Going up. <laughs> We'd be pouring Jack and Cokes the whole football game, <laughs> my dad said. That's like a more chaotic version of the, you're 12. You're 12. You're eating off the kids' menu. You're 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 15. <laughs> What's going on with y'all? Another beautiful week. It be going on. How you doing, Ben? It is a week. Are we feeling better? Who's feeling better? You're not. You still got a second infection. I yeah, but I am feeling better than I was last week. Last week I was like half dead on this damn episode. I'm feeling a lot better now. I finally got the right medication in me, so that's that's a positive sign. That's a that's a good about, goal to have. It it is it is positive health. I um I'm actually having a damn good week. I don't talk my bedding on here, but I just had my biggest one ever yesterday, and it's already all gone, so I can't really be too excited. <laughs> 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 no, it's not. It's not what like did it go back up. into? <laughs> no, 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 no. I took, I won $2,300 and I took uh, 1500 out of my account and, you know, rent, you know, just covering all the bills and make sure it's all good. I'm going to Florida in a few weeks. So, you know, I got to pay for stuff on there, but you know, I still got, I still got 600 left over playing with it, you know, having fun with it, <laughs> but it's, I don't, well, congrats on the I win. I appreciate it. You know, it, it, it felt good last night. It was it was funny. Like I was driving around doing my delivery service, GoPuff delivery, whatever it's called. And uh, I won. And I'm like an hour into my shift. And I was like, 
well, I signed off the app. I'm like, I'm going home. Fuck this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I made I made my money, <laughs> money for the night. <laughs> uh, good times. I wonder, I wonder how much money you put into these like bets and stuff before you ended up coming back around to getting a win like this. Like I, I remember uh, you won at the beginning of this podcast. You made a pretty decent win. Have you made any other wins since then? Yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, there was about three months ago, there was a thousand dollar win and that was oh, off okay. 20 bucks. I, I basically play about 10 to 20 a day. Well, a little more now. Um, and then, uh, I think like, yeah, it was the end of last month. I threw like my last ten dollars into the account, or not into the account, but like the last ten dollars I had in the account. I was like, "Well, I need this one to go big," and I won like five hundred dollars off of it. I was <laughs> like, "Thank you." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, no, I mean, it's been it's been a solid like few months on it. I just you know don't talk about it on here. We're not really a sports show, but it's one of my hobbies. It's what I do. But people like I, to hear so, stuff like that from us because it's you know. Like, yeah. People like to hear about I'm up. us. I'm up so. on the year. I, I, well, technically, I am up on the year since the year just started. But you know, within the last <laughs> year of date, I'm up. I'm up. So I was gonna say that's, that's good. We're only 18 days in. Keep it up. <laughs> you got a long way to go. <laughs> I, I'm down the last year. Damn, already? It's yeah, 18 days. I'm down 1800. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, it ain't like that. But anything exciting th- happen to y'all this week? Yeah, I fell down the stairs this week. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I laugh, but I'm sore. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Um, the power went out uh, Thursday. And it went out again today because people were out doing uh, tree work in the neighborhood specifically to avoid power out- outages. They were cutting down branches around the power lines and they knocked out the power. So <laughs> that happened. But last week the power <laughs> went out some other way and I had to go down the stairs and all the st- steps were blending in and I was in very slippy socks holding a bunch of stuff and both my feet flew out from under me. I landed on my right hip, tried to brace myself with my arm that I've already broken in the past. And I had to lay there until the fuzzies <laughs> went away to make sure it wasn't broken again before I tried to get up. And, you, uh, you know, that's yeah. what they have a handrail for, right? I was carrying things. The child. No, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that would have been a whole other story. <laughs> oh, you idiot! Yeah, I haven't, no. I haven't fallen down a good pair of stairs in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, memories. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, um, I mean, you know, pretty standard week other than falling down the stairs and the obvious frustration for me that I've been trying to write a book for I don't know years now, and it's changed so many times. Um, but the second you asked me to make a freaking meme about mozzarella sticks, I get this idea to write a horror story about being too hungry for mozzarella sticks. And it poured out of me like lava on a phone. I wrote the whole thing in four minutes flat and I can't believe it happened. (laughs) And like six people saw it on Instagram. (laughs) Nobody, nobody said shit about it. I love that. I make a meme the day before. Like in five minutes, I was like, oh, this sounds funny. And it gets yeah. like 2,000 2, likes or something on it. And then you make something, put your heart and soul into it. <laughs> <laughs> like five likes. <laughs> I'm just glad it wasn't this long drawn out project, like something that I've been wanting to do. It literally was just on the spot. Like, oh, I wonder if it'd be what, what we should put as the caption for this. And that just happened. Yeah. What is is happening with all these likes? Like I was looking at the Instagram page the other day. I was like, why the heck do we have a post that has like 1400 likes and it's a freaking troll meme. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. That's the one. (laughs) People like the, the dumbest shit. This is is the beauty of me not being like, I don't have any of those account informations or anything. So like, I just see it on my feed, like a regular pub. I'm just like, what is this page? And I'm like, oh, wait, that's my podcast. It's, okay. It's cool. my podcast. Because <laughs> I specifically don't follow pages like that on Instagram. Because uh, <clears throat> if you follow them, I mean, not knocking them, but it's, that's the whole market is like just shit post, shit post, shit post. And it's just like yeah. overwhelming. Yeah. 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 There's, so, yeah there's a lot kind of, of them. I follow it's, a lot of them. <laughs> It's it's quite annoying too because like uh, some of like a lot of like the popular ones were like mix in like 
some like sex toy ads too. I don't know, have y'all seen those? Yep. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like what really the annoying. Hell? I'll be scrolling and like, oh shit! <laughs> don't kink don't shame. Don't look at yeah. that. Don't kink shame. I think shame. it was <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, it ain't that. It's it's the fact that <laughs> listen, I'm hey, a mom. family man. I'm a yeah. family man over here, and I'm sitting here scrolling, and Aaron sees a flash of some spraying pink flamboyant vibrator go across my phone <laughs> and and she's like what the hell was that i'm like oh i don't know it's a meme page unfollow like <laughs> no i specifically i'm not specifically part of it was because i kept forgetting but i eventually decided not to send you the login info ben for our podcast instagram because i knew all those notifications coming through You'd be like, no. Yeah, I would. I would have muted. I would have muted that day one. You, uh, you get annoyed when we message you. Imagine getting all those <laughs> notifications. If I get if I get more than two notifications within a sixty second window, I'm already peeved. Mm-hmm. Why yeah. is there so? And it's crazy because like eight years ago, that's all I did. Like mid twenties, that's all I was doing. I mean, something switched. Yeah. And it's yeah. just like I don't. Nope. Not about it anymore. No. About it. Settling down. You moved up to the mountains. You just settling down, man. When <laughs> when we, when we have one of those posts that just go off, it's just it's I, me and Andrew are both signed into it. It's just literally like ting message down, message down, message down. And I'm trying to like do shit. I'm like, ah, get out of here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the Christmas audio one that went actually properly viral. I, had I to ended mute up that muting one that. Yeah, I, I, I ended up muting it after a while. I get tired God. of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's exciting at first when you start seeing everything because it's like, oh, people liked my thing I made. But yeah. then that just keeps coming. It's like, all right, I hate all of you now. Go away. <laughs> Go no, away. I'm just, I'm just kidding. If y'all came from that, I love y'all. My question yeah, is, is how do they make money? Like, is that is there I'm, some sort of ad I'm, thing involved? I've always been curious about that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you got <laughs> 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 to... A- it's like you just did a fat line of cocaine over there. Oh, yeah, remember? <laughs> oh nah, it's Instagram does pay you for that stuff, but you got to like have like 10,000 followers and stuff. So you got to build your stuff up and everything. So we, uh, we're working dumb. on it. Yeah, it's, it's stupid dumb. Same with YouTube. You don't get paid on ads and everything until you have like a thousand followers and like 10,000 likes or something, but working on that one too. So. Hey, y'all go follow yeah. our YouTube channel if you don't yet. That'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah, uh, that might end up becoming more important here soon. Because, dude, I've had like five or six people reach out being like, when are y'all going to – granted, it's most, mostly people I know, but they're like, when are you switching to video already? <laughs> <laughs> people don't want to see us. Come on. No, <laughs> we, we got to. We're going to be doing it soon. Yeah. I Honestly, we were going to try to shoot for the new year, but with all these sicknesses and – me being poor for a minute and everything like that. We we had to, we had to hold off, but we're getting some cameras here soon. We want to buy the right stuff, have the right equipment and everything. We don't want to go into that all all shoddy and stuff. So yeah. Plus, me so, and Aaron are moving out soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up a real nice little studio. So uh, that's right. That's right. That's a yeah. couple weeks, right? February. Uh, so it was gonna be the first. Now it's actually going to be Sunday the thirtieth of this month. Because we didn't want to move in like in the middle of a week, so yeah, hell yeah, yeah. y'all excited? We, yeah, I'm d- my brain right now is just firing off in so many different areas because there's so many things that I have to keep straight, um, like just with the process and with everyday life and stuff. So, but I mean, yeah, we're we're super excited. Hell yeah, that's awesome. I'm I'm excited for you guys. Yeah. It's been a it's been a hot minute, and you won't be living next door to Ben this time too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Reason I was late. We got to talk about it. Do we? And sorry to every, sorry to everyone out. No, well, the reason I'm late. Uh, sorry to everyone out there who's not going to be into it, but we're going to talk about it because it was awesome. The Last yeah. of Us. Two. Ah. Uh, wow. That. That. That first twenty minutes. My my heart, especially when everything started ramping up, I'm like, what's happening? I mean, I know what's <laughs> happening, but it's happening. <laughs> I'm like, it's 2003. I'm like, how do they not know something's happening? I was like, well, there's no Twitter back then, and like, no no news comes across. Yeah, past. I saw that that ancient relic, the Nokia. Yeah. On the counter. <laughs> <laughs> did you not play the game? No. No, we said I kind of uh, <laughs> did a lot of gameplay like walkthroughs on YouTube and stuff. I watched a lot of that because I was into the game. I just 
those aren't my style games to play, but I definitely think me and Jade might go back and play them. I was going to say, you, you guys definitely should. Like, um, I used to watch I Andrew I play played the second Creed one, all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I thought it was very good. Um, it's it's crazy to me how in the game you, you don't get all that backstory, not backstory, but you don't get it, um, the whole intro of the show. You're spending like the whole day with his daughter. And in the in the game, you basically pick up that night or something, if I remember right. She wakes up and that's not there. And that's when everything starts happening. But it somehow almost felt more effective. Like, like the gut punch felt harder when she, mm-hmm. spoiler alert, <clears throat> when she dies. It felt even more hurtful in a way because you spent you spend the whole like first third of the show seeing everything through her lens and you, and mm-hmm. you almost connect to her even harder. And oh my god, the side by side comparisons, crazy, crazy yes. how much they actually like like when they're driving around in the truck and they come to that intersection and you could, you could either go left or right and there's cop cars going the whole it's sequence sp- in the little town side by side it is spot on. It's crazy. Yeah, it's I I'm already hooked into it. How what about you, Benji? You, you liked it? I'm just amazed that you haven't played that game. <laughs> oh, I'm well. I've, I've, I've been fixated on, on that not, the entire time. I'm not a I'm not a what you would call a gamer. I'm a Call of Duty player. That's basically <laughs> it. I've I've said that on here before. That in Battlefield, you know, the FPS. But I've always been fixated into that game. I just I just never took the time to play it. Uh, that show was amazing. I don't know. I don't know what the rest of the season is going to look like, but I'm excited yeah, for uh, Ron strong. Swanson to be Bill. Yeah, I'm so excited yeah. for that. That guy's such a loose cannon, and I'm like, I'm ready to see it. He's going to be gun toting. Basically, he's basically going to be living a uh, Ron Swanson's freaking life. If uh, this happens. his dream, well, that's that's <laughs> his dream. Yeah, that's Bill in the game is like this guy you meet. Like you, I don't remember if they explain how you know him, but you know him, and you. Oh, there goes my phone. <coughs> Sorry, wearing sweatpants that just slides out. Um, <clears throat> Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, it'd be, it'd be fun. That's, that's basically his character. No, I don't know. I liked it a lot. I think. Uh, it surpassed my expectations and I had a very high bar for it to pass, especially after Halo and uh, God, I can't remember the last the last video game adaptation, but it's just they're never good. And this one, yeah. it, it's crazy. It's such a crazy concept of actually retelling the story with mild alterations is successful. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you would never have known. <laughs> yeah, what is already successful will be successful. Yeah, if you just right. translate it. Well, because right. most people, yeah. I mean, well, at least for me, I can speak for myself. But when I play a game, and I'm like, what would this be like in a movie or in a cinematic style? I want to see it retold in that. That I want. I love the story. I just want to see it. Yeah, in action where they can do more mm-hmm. performance based stuff. And then when you take for instance, Halo and like bastardize it and throw away the story and you have execs that don't care. And I'm just like, ah, so yeah. So that's kind of how I went into this and I am absolutely pleased. I also just love Pedro Pascal and I was trying not to let that blind me. Yeah. But (laughs) yeah, when I first heard that he was being casted as Joel, I don't know why, but my initial reaction, I didn't really like that. And I don't know why, because I I like Pedro Pascal. I feel like there were some fan castings that like had, I forget who, there's but been fan castings like, for 10 years. Yeah. So, yeah. But they, there were some that were like looked more close to the actual character yeah. from the game. But I mean, you yeah. can't go wrong with freaking Pedro. Or, but after know, after watching his performance so far, I mean, he embodies Joel like to a mm-hmm. T. I mean, there's little differences here and there, but it's not something that takes away from the character. It's more like, how can I interpret the character in a way that makes sense for me as an actor? Like, yeah. Will, it's it's so spot on. My favorite part of the whole thing is my TikTok feed blowing up with everyone's reactions to the show. Everyone's everyone's just like, I hated The Last of Us premiere because it was so good. I'm like, no, uh, hey, shut it <laughs> off. <laughs> clickbait, clickbait. Well, and 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 it's something I've noticed too on on TikTok. I don't know how plausible the theory is, but I see one video and then I see eight that are exactly the same. So 
my hypothesis is, okay, is everyone watching one video and just replicating it? Or are they all mm. reading the same Reddit post and replicating it? I mean, there's obviously some kind of replication going on, but yeah. it's almost like local news. You hear the same story on like for in Wyoming as you do in Florida. And uh, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's that's been the funniest part. I, I've watched like, through a few of them and they're all just word for word the same st- like thing. Yeah. TikTok's a wasteland. I, I can't stand TikTok, to be honest with y'all. <laughs> um, no, I, what do y'all think of, uh, I forget the actress's name, um, the girl playing Ellie. She did a good job casting. So I mean, that's another that's yeah, that's another one that when I first heard the casting, I was like, I don't know about that, Mm -hmm. but I didn't get to her in Game of Thrones. I I didn't see her character. in Game of Thrones. Oh, she was great in Game of Thrones. She was she was awesome. Uh, She wasn't in a lot, but her character was great. Oh, really? Okay. yeah, she she went out like a badass, too. Yeah, I it's too early to say I like her as like an actress, like from what I've seen already, but. Like I don't the the adaptation per se because it's the first episode it's, it's too it's too early to say yeah for sure anything for sure yeah there's some very key plots that come up and I don't know how far this season's going I don't know if this is going to cover the entire game that's another thing I don't know I if this is going to be also. because in the game there's also multiple seasons and mm-hmm. in the um in the series I've already seen the trailer for like Winter Time which is mm-hmm. shortly after the start. So it like starts in fall or summer or fall, mm-hmm. and then it goes to winter, spring, and I think summer at the end. Um, so I don't know if they're cutting that it, like seasons. I don't. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see how far being, it goes. Being as um, someone's missing from the second game, I I don't see them going into a season already season two without that character. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why I not? Season uh, Game of Thrones. <clears throat> the last Game of Thrones season had what? like four episodes with that girl and she's out of it now. Like she's just like done. <clears throat> oh yeah. Game of Thrones. Just, you know, you're dead. Cause the last you're of dead. us is a you're story. <laughs> it's not Pedro Pascal. The last of us yeah. as itself is a just yeah. freaking the, the, the character is the, is the world and is the people they, they meet along the way and all these subplots mm-hmm. and stuff. So I meant to ask true. you then, did that's you play true. the second one or no? No, it got spoiled for me when it came out yeah, really same. early on. Same. Everyone was, um, in a tizzy, and I'll I'll say the spoiler now. I don't. I mean, it's been a couple of years, so your fault. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I don't but know. Joel dies at like somewhere in the beginning of part two, and yeah. everyone was up in an upheaval about it. Like everyone was pissed, mm-hmm. and I didn't care. I think it, it, like, as long as it serves the story, it's great. But yeah, I just yeah. had like that had been such a spoiler, and then I was just like, eh, okay, well. I guess I'll wait till it gets on sale and then it's well, we'll see. I I want to play it, but then it, then Ghost of Tsushima came out not to go off on a gaming tangent or anything, but I'm finally about to play that. Like when we move out, because I, um, now have a, something that I actually want to play it on. I sold my, so my, uh, more expensive camera to downsize because I wasn't using all the features on it. And with the extra money, I got a PS five. So, Oh yeah. What? Yeah, I should have I should have <laughs> bought a PS5. Instead, I bought uh, five hundred dollars worth of the next Magic the Gathering uh, set release. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> I, thought I thought you were, you were done, done with that. With the, oh, jinx. <laughs> Let me introduce you to a cool word called drugs. Addiction. No, <laughs> it's, it's cardboard drugs. Um, yeah, no. Emily and I were out shopping, and I just picked up a couple packs, and. Uh, pulled an eighty dollar card, so I just like flipped it back in, oh, yeah. bought more, like upcoming. And after after this next release or two, I think that's when I'll actually like actually taper out, kind of wipe my hands and play casually. But I'm enjoying it, so I can so quit you, at any time. <laughs> that's what I've been, I've been saying that since 2012. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, so you just said you turned it back in, like so you bought the deck from the shop. You found out you had this eighty dollar card, and you're like, "Hey, well, I mean, card? I how's that work? Some card game card stores, you, you either you could buy the pack right there, open it, look through, and go, oh, this is a thirty dollar card. I want to trade this in for store credit, buy another pack or something like that.' Um, okay. So yeah, so I I have, I don't know. I've been collecting since we started this podcast, which is what like September, October. Yeah. And yeah, I've got yeah. two full binders of like rares and mythics that are probably equivalent to like a grand or two. 
Um, oh. Maybe a little overestimating <laughs> because market value fluctuates all probably more towards a grand, but um, this whole time I thought you were done. No, <laughs> so no, that, that was that was when I said I was done. Is when those were full. Um, oh, gotcha. But there's just been some little releases here and there because Emily, myself, and two of our friends, we all play a version called Commander, which is like four player. Everyone, you can use cards from the entire thing, so that's more approachable for Emily, who's not collecting them as much. So I can just like go, yeah. I can buy a forty dollar Commander deck and be like, hey, you can play the game. That's all you need. So right, that's keep, keep it simple. Yeah, so that's what we've been shifting back into. And then, yeah, man, come summertime, I'm just gonna anything that's been sitting in that binder, I'm just gonna purge it all. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I feel you. It's 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 not an addiction. You're just having fun with it. <laughs> oh, it is. It's but, it, it is an addiction. It's it's instant gratification. I mean, it's it's yeah. for a couple bucks. You know what I mean? Like, can't nothing wrong with that. I got. I bought a scratch off after winning that money last night, so I feel you, pain. No. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that's, that's. I don't buy. I don't buy them. Oh. Honestly, I don't buy them because they're trash out here in Oregon. I mean, but, what we do is know. essentially the same. I just get to play with my lottery tickets. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. I think you have a high, eh, I won't say higher chance of winning something, but it if you're it interested, Taylor, the way I got my PS5, if you what, if you get in the market for it, is I got the digital only version, so you can't put discs in it. About knocks about $150 off the price, and I got it from a bulk buyer on eBay because it's cheaper. So it was oh. like five hundred fifty bucks. I saw him for four hundred the other day. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got this like maybe a <laughs> month or two ago. So uh, and it's just been sitting there. So I just saw like two weeks ago that Sony announced that they're apparently caught up somehow and you can find it easier, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh it might have been like I think it was on Amazon, but you gotta like wait still on Amazon for like to be yeah. invited or some shit so yeah i didn't want to be on the wait list after i get back from florida it's it's up there on the list uh my ps4 anytime i turn it on that fan kicks in and it's dude it's kind of scary like it starts randomly beeping when it's off like you will be sitting there watching tv and oh just, ding, ding, like that button you hit when you turn it on yeah. it gives you that little ding it'll just keep doing that you need to dust it just keep doing it yeah, I, it, it needs. It's all the it's dust. Like, I don't want to take doing micro sensor. Like, it's, it's it's activating. I'm afraid to take it apart, <laughs> clean it because like I don't know. I just feel like I'm gonna take it apart and it's just gonna fall apart. And I'm like, I need you to hold on for like a month, <laughs> two months maybe. <laughs> YouTube's <laughs> a in there a little thing. longer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll get a PS5 eventually. Speaking but. of addiction, I got some rolls back recently. Recently, I are mean we, this week at Monday. Are we sushi so do rolls? you need to lose uh, some weight? Yeah. <laughs> ye- yeast yeah. rolls. <laughs> no. Um, we, it's just camera rolls. talk. Yeah. It's oh, camera boy. talk. It's That's not camera right. talk. It's just, we, you know. Uh, I guess it's our addiction hour, so go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I got some good images back, <sighs> but the rolls that I sent in were my first three rolls that I shot on this camera when I got it. So I missed, I was getting used to how the focus worked and I missed focus on a lot of it. So it was a little, little disappointing, but I got some good stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. There you you go. You'll post them. Ben. What? Yeah, probably. Ben, why did you, why were you asking me about film photography earlier? Oh, that's right. I just realized I didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you told him to shut the fuck up and ask me later pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Emily and I are doing a photo shoot with a friend of ours that's coming back to town and he does oh, okay. uh, portrait photography he used to do like concert photography and stuff uh, I think I know who you're talking about cause uh, he is he the guy that shot the film at your, y'all's wedding we didn't have any film at our wedding no oh no not him not him <clears throat> no oh, okay no, uh, I've been wanting to. I've been wanting to do a uh, a film sesh with you guys for a while now, but it's winter, well, and I've been trying to wait till the leaves come back. Now so. I've got to pay for it. No, I'm just kidding. No, a buddy <laughs> of mine's coming back, and he's just like, "Hey, got some stuff." I was like, "Yeah, dude, I'll bless you with some some work." And so, all right, nice. He's just doing 35 or medium, so I was just like, I don't remember what the difference was because I don't shoot film anymore. So, all right, so I, I'm gonna I go on a little tangent it. real quick. TLDR little, little tangent real quick. Yeah. So the camera you have, the 5D Mark II, that is a full frame digital camera. All full frame cameras 
that are digital are based on the size of a 35 millimeter frame. So classic cameras that shot 35 millimeter, the size of the frame that you could take with them, that's the same size that, that the now digital professional cameras are based off of. Um, Full format is square format or medium format is square. Um, it, there's different versions of medium format. There's different sensor sizes. It just depends on the camera that got the guy's using. Uh, the lowest size, which is the one I shoot because you get the most frames on a roll, so it's more economical, is a, is a six by four and a half, I believe centimeter, I could be wrong, um, sensor. So it's over double the size of a 35, 35 millimeter sensor. Um, I keep saying sensor, it's not a sensor, it's film. A negative, not a sensor. So therefore, bigger the frame, way more detail. So if you're talking portraits, if you want really nice quality portraits, I'm going to say medium format. But if you, it really doesn't matter. You could get great results with 35 millimeter as well, especially if you're going with that whole kind of tumbler aesthetic. Uh, that would probably be more suited. For I don't know if it's a tumbler aesthetic, but 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 a lot of people shoot for that now. Like um, like freaking Urban Outfitters, Target, they're selling little point and shoot film cameras now. Like that you don't have to think about to use. You don't have to like hold for focus or anything like that. They're just point shoot. And it's because there's this hipster craze of 35 millimeter coming back. It has been for a while now, but it's reached a level that retail stores are selling them now. And it's, it, that just blows my mind that that's a thing now again. And it's specifically for the quote aesthetic that you could like point to like Tumblr and be like, Oh, that's what it has that look. Gen Z confuses me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Says, says every generation before the next. There's the no, yeah. well, there's no like, there's no typecast. If that makes any sense, like millennials, oh, yeah, we like avocado on toast. And if you didn't, if you weren't one of those people, you were a scene kid. You know what I mean? Like, it's like you can fit into one. Oh, of, damn it, dude. One of four Why did you just read my mail so hard? <laughs> Why did you just read my mail so hard? Because I don't like hot avocado toast. <laughs> and I was a sink kid. So. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, you're this or that. Uh, but you could, or at least for me, my simpleton brain could like fit millennials into a, this these categories. And there was only a few. And like Gen Z, I'm like, man, these kids are bringing back scene days. They're like apathetic, like I was like, they're, they're hitting every phase of my life that I've gone through all in like this three year window of them being like late teens. Like what? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they're, it's just me uh, per- rambling as an old man. I've seen the, the nineties fashions coming back heavy with them too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, big mm-hmm. time. Like, like I, I, uh, we up here where I live, there's like neighborhood schools. So you got to drive around and like when they, all the kids are getting out and you're stuck at the red light, they're all wearing like, Jinko jeans and shit like that, flannels and everything. I was like, "Holy Nirvana! What the hell is happening out here?" I mean, <laughs> that makes that makes sense because uh, I mean, I love the '80s when I was growing up. Um, yeah, like the previous. Seems like it's always two decades. Yep. <laughs> but dude, no, the '80s was three years before I was born. Well, when you were growing up, when did you start liking the '80s? Like when you were ten? When I was like 12? six, what? dude, I was into I was heavy into Motown and Weird Al, and well, I know Motown's earlier, but I was about to say Motown's yeah. like the '60s. <laughs> yeah, I, I loved that crap growing up, uh, really young. You have flock of seagulls haircut. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, well, the whole '80s style in terms of like fashion and stuff came back really hard for a while there in the early 2000s mm-hmm, too. And mm-hmm. it kind of, for a while it was kind of intermixing with some of the style with that scene kids were doing with like kind of the neon like glasses. I'd say like the club scene kids, like the people that were listening to like breathe Carolina and 303 Blood on the dance those floor. kids that. Yeah. I mean, all those, all those eras and the things that were popular in those eras come back eventually for nope. some reason, they think everything makes a comeback. I'm okay with seeing kids coming back, but for the love of God, do stop bringing new metal back. What? <laughs> Can't do What's it. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Can't do it, dude. <laughs> what is wrong with new metal? I, I, it's new, new metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. New, new, new metal. I don't like <laughs> that. New, new. <laughs> I like, I like old, like, I guess 90s alternative was new metal. So like I I like some of those classic to stuff. To a T. Uh, well, I mean you've got Corn, Limp Bizkit, you've got that. Um, well, that's, those are like king new metal. Those are the top new metal that's, bands. That's what, like, but like Mud early nineties, like that was they were on the, the radio. Metal. Since some of it down, like they were all on the top. 
So like yeah. that stuff I like, but I don't know. That's all I think about when I think new metal. I know there's you know you got the deeper track bands and everything, but I you say new metal, you just named like three of the bands I'm going to name after the top five. But I'm saying like yeah. I don't know like the fa- the Deftones. fashion. Deftones is coming back hard. I don't think they ever win anywhere. Oh, that, that's the that that's, that's a good point for me. <laughs> I don't I don't mind in general the new metal genre as long as it's done good. Even yeah. in the you know it, it, even in its resurgence, but the style, yeah, the clothing, it's like, stop. It's like the kind of stop the kind of people that listen to new metal. Like, ah, yeah, ah. just stop it. <laughs> the you've like Floridian. I mean, <laughs> Floridian new metal fans wearing massive pea coats. Stop. <laughs> Bye, Ben. <laughs> oh. oh, Ben's going to pee again. No. I mean, here I am yelling about kids, <laughs> yelling about kids' fashion. When I bought uh, Acacia Strain booty gym shorts. Oh my god! <laughs> the booty well, shorts. <laughs> so, what do I know? Take yes. what I say. Hello, with two thousand seven. <laughs> okay. See, see, that's an eight. That's an eighties trend right there that we were doing in two thousand seven, yes. two thousand eight. Yeah, I was gonna say I know? was doing that before too, but. Yeah, they, they released it. I was like, in the yeah. event that we ever get around, even, in the event that we ever get around to doing a film sesh, maybe not. I'll, I'll bring the digital. We'll do the digital for that because film's expensive. But you got to get a shot or two of you <laughs> on a mountain or some shit in those shorts. Make yeah, sure it's not a bright, bright sunny day because some legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, need a, I need a tan before I wear those out. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's it's it's just crazy how like it full blown goes around and even like in um media too for like two th- the late 2000s early 2010s 80s 80 type themed shows and movies seem like they were dying like stranger things straight 80s and stuff and yeah. i just feel like everything yeah. kind of sprouted off of that but it feels like it's moved on now and you're seeing a lot more shows and everything based in the 90s um some movies and stuff yeah that, that go back a little bit so speaking just, of mid 90s about- such a good movie is that the uh, uh, of the all the freaking movie? movies for me to not see? <laughs> of course, that's the one that I still haven't seen. Is that the seen. Jonah Hill directed yeah, movie? Yeah, it's the skateboarding one. Yeah, yeah I yeah. wanted to see that one. That it's one basically like Lords of Dogtown, but in an actual, like, you know, normal oh kid God, setting. Lords of Dog- yeah, yeah. <laughs> I showed I showed Jade Lords of Dogtown probably a few months ago for the first time. She's like, "How did I never see this before?" Uh, I mean, that's, um, that's because she went to Stewart all the time. She's from Miami. But she lived in Port St. Lucie, did she not? For like six months before I met her. So, did she, she not go she to don't know Port St. Okay. Lucie? Because like she literally downtown Jensen to Stewart is all just Lords of Dogtown to me. Like when I just drive through there. Oh, yeah. Dirty beach town vibes. I can see. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Kind of kind of going back here, but speaking of thing like just old man talk. <laughs> it, seems, <laughs> it seems like that's what we're doing. Hey, man, yeah, man. the... <laughs> Get off my lawn, boy. Um, there comes a day when you know you're getting old when lingo starts to confuse you. And that isn't the case here because I know what it means, but it blows my mind. Have you guys heard about this? Which which one? Last year, Oxford, the word of the year, the Oxford word of the year was <laughs> goblin mode. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> Did I know it was the word of the year? No. Yes. Isn't that two isn't that two words? <laughs> it's it two is, words. Which like that even doesn't make sense. <laughs> doesn't it, that means going like crazy, right? Uh kind of. Yeah. It yeah. okay, I, I gotta bring it up now. It, it behavior which is unapologetically self-indulgent, lazy, slovenly, or greedy, typically in the way that rejects social norms. <laughs> so your brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and that's funny because he uses that. He or not so much anymore, but he has used that term so many times, and he'll call people goblins. Like, oh, oh he's a t- little goblin over there. So, <laughs> so we can find goblin mode in the Oxford Dictionary now. I don't. I don't know if it's in the dictionary. Uh, it literally just says it was Oxford's word of the year, and there were other runner-ups. There were other runner-ups. What are the, what are the, what are the runner-ups? The runner-ups were... I feel like it can't be the word of the year if it's not in the Oxford Dictionary. I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, Metaverse was also one of them. Uh, and 
This is a hashtag. Hashtag I stand with. Okay, so this article, uh, this article's already bunked. Nope, doesn't hit carry anything. Yeah, it's, N- it's NPR. What? Oh wait, there. Yeah. Uh, uh, Emily, close uh, your ears. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Does Emily like NPR or something? She, she, we used to listen to NPR every morning, like on the way to work. Oh, really? I mean, it, it, there is some useful information on there, and I, I, I it, it's interesting at times, but it's, it gets a little. Too then they post something like this. Yeah, there it is. Smith, uh, Smithsonian Mag. Was this like a Twitter poll or some shit? Because we know the internet will name stuff ridiculous or like vote for the most ridiculous option. Didn't the internet ask for like? To name a boat a years ago, and they named it like Poopy McCooper Pants or something like that. <laughs> I mean, dude, yeah, never heard, yeah. I've the, never heard that. The people are strong. And Games Workshop, they um, they did a mini of the year. They're like, hey, vote for the big, you know, your favorite minis of the year. And there's this like new Demon Prince that came out. This like giant dragon bird, like really dope, like articulated thing. And then as a side model in one of the starter kits was a crab. Um. <laughs> it's a it's a pretty dope looking crab, but everyone was like, <laughs> "It's a pretty dope crab." Vote for the crab, and it won. It won model of the year, and so much so that GW was like, "Yeah, we're not going to acknowledge that." Like they just yep. moved on to the next <laughs> article. But yeah, it's like dude, the internet's wild, man. You ask them I anything, you're going to get same time. anything. It is going. It is going in the dictionary. I just looked it up. Oh my god! So. Okay, never mind. No. How, how crazy is that? It's it's <laughs> it's not crazy. It's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, the, Glass Onion, was such a mediocre movie. Like I enjoyed it. It was a fun watch, but it was just yeah. Eh. But just that, uh, it's so it's so uh, crazy. It's genius. He's like, it's not genius. No, it's not or, or it's just so bad. It's it's genius. He's like, it's not genius. It's just b- dumb or what? I don't know. Yep. I can't quote shit. If so, <clears throat> Glass Onion, in my opinion, like it was so. What the hell is happening? Like it kept my attention, but it's and it was such a. If we really think about it, it was such a downgrade from the first movie. Oh, for sure. In my opinion, the biggest biggest oh. reasons why is you didn't have those. Uh, I haven't seen it. You didn't have those detectives on the side. Um, the guy from yeah. Atlanta. Yep. And I don't know who, I, the other guy was familiar, but I don't know where he was from. I was gonna. A- I was gonna ask if you thought it stood up to the first one. I no, no, not at all. You know, I haven't seen it. It's. So. It's in, like I said. It's enjoyable. The first one takes itself very serious. The second one seems like a COVID movie, not only because it's taken place in COVID, but I don't know if you saw like I think it was called The Bubble on Netflix. Um, and it was like I a whole movie. It look entertaining. It's. It wasn't the 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 tra- the trailer was about all you needed. It was really funny. The rest yeah. of it, nah. Um. But it was like one of those, like those COVID movies is like, hey, we're just going to make something to have fun. Well, you're missing right. all of the writers that make it fun me. So yeah. uh, what are we doing here, guys? Uh, and that's kind of what it felt uh, like. And honestly, if Daniel Craig wasn't in that movie doing the role he's doing, the movie would have sucked. He carried that movie. I guess him, him and um, gosh, Drax. Who plays Drax? Um, Dave Batista. Uh, Dave but Batista. Yeah. Yeah. Batista. Yeah, he was good. Too. I, he's such a small part, like all like the side characters and stuff, but like it, yeah. he is probably, he's quickly rising to one of my like top favorite people to watch. Oh, after. same, same. I'm excited for that M night Shyamalan movie coming out. Very excited movie. about that. I just cause him and freaking Rupert from, uh, uh, old Harry Potter, Ron from yeah, Harry Potter's. They're both side by side in that movie. Rupert, so I'm Rupert. excited to see that one. What's, yep. what's that one called? A knock, a knock, a on, knock the door, at the door. Knock at the cabin. Or, no, yeah, knock, like yeah, one that. of those. That I'm, um, I'm, I'm excited for that. I one. finally, I finally saw Bullet Train. Oh, yeah. welcome to 2023. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to throw that out there because I know there's a running meme that I don't watch anything. I finally am watch, uh, getting through the list of stuff. But, well, at least you. That was a, a fantastic time. movie. Oh yeah. my god. Oh hey yeah. hey Andrew, welcome to the conversation. Hey thanks thanks. Fashionably late. If I would have watched that last year, it would have been one of my tops for the year for sure. Yeah. Before sure. that, bef- before that movie, I wouldn't have liked the news that I saw that the front runner right now it sounds like to be the next James Bond is uh, Aaron was it Aaron Taylor Jordan. Aaron or? James Ta- Taylor, uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, he apparently is the front runner right now to be the next Bond, which 
I didn't know he was I British. I can kind of see it. I had no idea he was British. Yeah, what? Every role I've seen him in, he's always had an English accent besides Quicksilver. And he well, that would mean British. Huh? You just, you just, you just <laughs> American, American yourself. accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> but what the hell? You just call that, my though, accent? You okay? <laughs> <laughs> nice. While we're on a tangent on movies, I uh, we watched a movie over the weekend that we turned off halfway. Not even halfway. Um, Firestarter came out uh, last year. It ring a bell. It was a that didn't look good to me. So I don't. It know. was a remake, which I didn't know, but it's a it's a old. Uh, <sighs> I don't watch old horror movies. <laughs> it was a book. I know it was a book, but they also made a movie in 1984 after doing research. But anyways. Yeah, I turned that thing off. That was terrible. I thought I thought it might be all right. I thought it had like the same vibe as uh that uh old what's that one that came out a few years ago by James Gunn with the the young Superman. Well, they didn't oh, call yeah. him Superman. Bright Brightburn. Brightburn. I thought it had the same vibe to that, but it just it just we just turned it off. It was so slow and boring. But that kind of brings a uh a topic of conversation I have. Um you guys ever been almost arrested before? Just to start off? <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyone? I mean, I I have not for like a very exciting reason, but yeah. I uh the closest I've been probably arrested for something serious was arson. So that's why I kind of ring a bell. Hell yeah, um, brother. I almost burnt down Fort Pierce. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I I grew up in Fort Pierce. We lived right next to an orange, uh, a man- uh, mangrove, an orange grove, um, mm-hmm. and it was abandoned. So it was like a lot of just dead trees out there. And this kid on my street, y'all uh, actually, I'm, I'm gonna say his name because I don't give a fuck. Y'all remember a kid Patrick Bly? No, ring a bell. He, nope. he was like a lead singer in one of the. Your name dropping has failed you. Yeah, was I, he I, was he in any of the bands with Morgan and his brother? Yes, actually, he was part of the gang that I grew up with. I had Morgan. Remember, I told you okay. I grew up with Morgan. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if yeah. I don't know if he was ever in his band, but we all used to jam out and stuff together a little bit. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure I've seen him before. Anyways, whatever. Um, yeah, his he was he grew up uh, rich. I guess you could say he's got like f- fucking four wheelers out the ass. We used to ride him back there and stuff. Well, one day we went back there with a bunch of mortars, you know, those big ass fireworks. Uh-huh. <laughs> and there was this lake that was like, there was an embankment like 10 feet tall with a fence. And then there was a lake on the inside of it. It's like, you got to stay out of it. And it was like full of like, it was like grass sections in the lake and stuff and gators out there. And for, for some reason, we acted like we were like throwing grenades over a hill, like we were in a war with these fucking mortars. <laughs> we oh my God. Them, <laughs> launch them over there and just see the explosion. And then one of them freaking landed in one of those grass pads and caught on fire. And like we could see the flames from down below where we were. Started freaking the fuck out. We hopped on our four wheelers, raced <clears throat> all the way back to his damn house, and just grabbed like two buckets and like filled them up with water. And as we raced back, oh, right before we left, his dad's like, What the hell is happening? And we told him, He's like, well, y'all better go try to get that fire out, or if not, y'all going to fucking jail for arson and shit. I'm like, oh my god, and I'm, I'm like oh this god. little, I'm like okay. this little good boy, you know, straight A's and everything. I crashed the four wheeler on the way, way back. Oh my god, <laughs> I hit, I hit a pothole, like I'm mean, not a pothole, but a hole in the ground that's covered in grass, and I went over the handlebars on the damn four wheeler, and I, I, I just looked at Patrick. I was like. I'm like doubled over in pain. I'm like, go, just go, <laughs> get it out and everything. And um, apparently it just went out on its own, surprisingly. Our dumbasses are like, it was like in a, it's in the middle of the lake in the grass pad. Of course it was going to go out, but we were freaking the fuck out like it was going to jump over to land or something. But yeah, <laughs> that was one of the scariest moments of my life growing up. And it was all because I was almost an arson arsonist in Fort Pierce. Sweet. It was, it was uh, behind my grandparents' house, that area, if you you know what I'm talking okay. about, Andrew. Well, not behind it. Yeah. It's like you got to go all the way down the street and everything. But, yeah, that that was one of my closest moments to juvie growing up. I I set fire to the woods in front of my street before there was a house there. The ones you used to hang out in a lot you, you were talking about before? Yeah. That's what you yeah. do there. Okay, so uh, not a lot of people know this about my childhood, but I used to take – and it wasn't the ones that I made. I, I have to, to smoke a heavy amount of cigarettes. 
what <laughs> cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> um no i used to dissect and study fireworks and how they were made and then make my own <laughs> You like rolling so, and everything too, like a fucking joint. <laughs> oh no, not rolling! <laughs> like making basically what you could consider mini pipe bombs that were pretty to look at. Hey, you're making dirty bombs <laughs> out of PVC and stuff. Yeah, Jesus like Christ. it was. If I was if I was radicalized, it would have been over. I'm just saying. So, <laughs> um, Death to Ron Rico, no, Jesus. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember how I got this massive box of fireworks, but there was a bunch of fireworks that we had in the garage for a while. And there's these two specific types of Japanese bottle rockets that they, they were like thicker. They were like the the width of like an M80 was the head of it, and it had it was two different ones. They were the same size, but the ones that had the green paper top were defective. Every single one of them. The runs of the red ones were safe to use. So I had all them separated because the green ones were the ones that I would take apart and use. There were certain types of powders layered in, in there for different effects, uh, flight, color, all that stuff. So it was dark on one of the 4th of Julys. We bring the box of fireworks out there. Apparently there was one straggling green one in there. And the way they were defective is, you know, they were supposed to shoot up and then seconds later, whatever the effect is, they explode, shoot color, whatever. That's when it happens. These ones, the fuse would stall out in between the layers. So it would shoot up, hit the ground or someone's house or something, then blow up on whatever oh, it was Jesus. on. So it shot up. I'm like, oh, there's no explosion. There's no explosion. What What's going on? And it hits and I see the flash in the woods. And it set about half of a lot on fire. By the time <laughs> fire department came and uh, me and my uncle were trying to put it out, we ran back because there was a house right next to where it lit up. So we went over to their house and turned on their hose and was trying to put it out ourselves. And the fire fi firefighters showed up and were like yelling at us, kicking us out of the area so that they could take care of it and stuff. But no shit. Yeah. So I am kind of a narcissist. <laughs> a narcissist. <laughs> I've done all of this um, in have not started a fire. Well, we're not as good as you. <laughs> I used to literally chuck <laughs> Mr. Perfect. I used to chuck mortars at my friends. Like we would oh, just yeah, yeah, throw them as hand grenades. And one of my friends yeah. driving by just tossed it at their car a couple times. One landed in the back of their truck. And it was really cool to see. <laughs> did, honestly. You guys, but, did you guys ever make um, a dirty bomb? No. Mock. No, no. <laughs> no. Mock guns out of just PVC with a handle on it to drop bottle rockets down and shoot oh, them at each other. Yeah, I've done that a few. 100%. I thought you were going to go more towards yeah, like V darts, that. but no, I've done that. <laughs> no, well, we used to do that too, of course. Everybody did that. No, the the only the other time that I almost actually got arrested, me and Taylor, not Taylor, sorry, it wasn't me us. and Tyler Norville, we used to uh, skate. Local people will know where this is at. We used to skate at the Morningside School because they had a nice staircase there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do the church. Um, but back, I don't remember the name, name of the school, but if you back behind um, the Morningside School, there was an actual bigger school. It wasn't like, it wasn't Forest Grove, but it was built the same way. Um, anyway, it was one of those poor St. Lucie Boulevard schools. And we hopped the fence to skate the school. And it was on a weekend. And it was so stupid because you could see the big black truck parked in an empty school parking lot from the main road that was right there. So any cop that went by could see it. And a cop comes up and he's like, which one of you idiots is parked right underneath the no skateboarding, no trespassing <laughs> sign. And I look at Tyler and then I look at the truck. I'm like, you idiot. Like <laughs> there is no reason for us to deny anything now. <laughs> like it literally was right there next to the truck and neither of us noticed it. Goose it boys. Um, yeah. And uh, both of us were 17. So he's like, if y'all were 18, I'd take you in right now. And Tyler started mouthing off to him. Of course. He of did. course. <laughs> so Tyler, I love you, but goddamn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wasn't very good at keeping his mouth shut. Uh, so, but yeah, he, he was mouthing off to him. Pretty sure he called him a pig. Pretty sure he oinked at him a couple times. Um, yeah. He, and I was sitting there, sweating bullets i'm like tyler i swear to god if you don't <laughs> shut up <laughs> we were the only two people there it was it was us and a cop that was it so it, he was like if you were 18 it. i would take you in now oh so. god that was is that your closest encounter to a cop <laughs> 
uh, well, not to a cop, but the time where I probably got in the most trouble with a cop before. Yeah. I have. A you wild, have a wild one. I feel I have, like I have a wild one when it comes to the cops. Um, it, was, I, it wasn't my fault at all. Fucking um, 2012. I, I went up to North Dakota. Um, I went up there. My dad brought me up there to work. It was like the oil fields and all that shit. You make stupid money. It was like the end of uh, no blood of the broken was still going. It's like when we were trying to uh, you were, we were doing talking it to fund blood of the broken. Yeah, we we were talking to that record label and like they were wanting us mm-hmm. to start touring and stuff. I was like, well, shit, we need a damn van, we need a trailer, yeah. we need equipment. I was like, let me go up here and make you know twenty grand in like three months and I'll come home, you know. Yeah, and uh, up there living is just you're you're living on couches and random houses that the the company it provides and everything, and fucking um. I was working with these two guys who had the only truck and like, if I wanted to go to town to go to Walmart, to go grocery shopping or do anything, I had to ride with them and they were a couple ex Marine gun nuts and everything like that. Like we had fun. We were all laughing stuff like that, but they just, they, they thought the world was, they didn't have to obey, uh, obey any rule. They thought they did their time. Like they, they're in charge. They, They can do whatever they want. They bought a new gun. We're, we were like, we're staying like two hours outside of uh, the town. They bought a new gun at Walmart, like a, just some kind of AR and shit. And they wanted to sight it in so bad that night. And I'm like, we we're whatever. So we went down some random dirt road, like close to the city we were staying in. And they were just shooting at like a, a, a sign. You know, how you'd be walking down, you go driving down a random dirt road and you see a stop sign with like 20 yeah. bullet holes in it and shit like that. That's exactly <laughs> what we were doing. And, we didn't know, but like right on the other side of this hill, like 200 feet away was an, uh, an oil pad uh, where you see, oh, you know, the, we see those barracks, you know, the thing going up and down and stuff, feeding mm-hmm. the oil out of the ground. And a guy lived like right next to it who apparently owned that one. Apparently he called the cops because he thought someone was trying to shoot the oil pad to blow it up basically and shit. We didn't know the cops were coming. So, but we like, all right, we're done. Let's head out. We got out to the main road and this is like highway. I forget the one that goes, I think it's highway two. It's like the one that the most Northern At highway. The top. Go, yeah. It goes Seattle to Chicago and it like goes through random towns and shit on the way through. And we're on that highway. And all of a sudden the cop lights turn on behind us. And I have no idea why, but the guy just, he literally gunned it. He started taking down the highway, just going. It's it's not when I say highway, it's one way, a one lane each direction. Yeah. You know, like fantastic town. idea, very nice, and it, very nice. And then the yeah, and we get to the town, the motherfucker starts pulling off in the side streets, trying to lose the cop and everything. Cops still on our ass. So they get back on the road. We go past the town, like full blown police chase at this point. And I'm sitting in the back seat, like pull the fuck over. What are we doing, you dumb shit? Like cursing this man out and dude they had a blockade set up at at a certain point (laughs) where we had to stop there was every cop within 20 miles on our ass and everything and i'm freaking the freaking the fuck out i'm sorry to excuse my language this was it was a wild story (laughs) for me and (laughs) bro so we, we pull over on the side of the road highway shut down on both ends there's five cop cars on this side five behind us they got the spotlight from the cop car facing into the, the cabin. There's, there's me in the back seat, the guy, another guy on the other side of the back seat, and two seats in the front. This guy's in it. And they were like, you know, turn the car off, hands out the window, all these shit. And they, they, and they were like, driver, get out, walk backwards, hands in the air. They got him down on the ground, put handcuffs on. They did us one by one. And in my head, I'm like, what if I fall? Like, fall, like walking backwards yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to get lit up because they're probably thinking I'm reaching for a gun. I'm like shit in my pants. I ain't going to lie. And <laughs> eventually, um, I don't know. I, I guess the my main guy, like, talked to the cops saying, like, we were doing – it, it all cleared and everything. Yeah. I was sit, But I was sitting in the back of a cop car in handcuffs for a solid hour or so. And, um, yeah, that that was truly my scariest almost going to jail scenario. What's even funnier is – my dad was up there for like a solid year before me and um, he was a part, you know, he wasn't a part. He, there was a murder that happened. One of the guys he was working with murdered. It was a drunken murder. He, I think he ran this guy over with a car and everything. And um, 
my dad was kind of like a, a witness. So he talked to the mm-hmm. detective. And so while I'm giving my information, like my ID over to the, this cop, and he's like, Steiger from Florida? Is your name is your dad's name Greg? I'm like, what the fuck? How how do you know my dad? Oh my god. <laughs> I had no idea about this story and everything at the time. So but that 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 Holy was crap. That was about the funniest part from it. Yeah, that's that's without a doubt my adulthood scariest fucking childhood. I'm just trying to picture myself. What would I have done if I was in the back of the truck and the driver was not listening to me and he's just blowing through everything like he's refusing yeah. to stop? I that's crazy. I was, what was I, 20 at the time? And they were like some 30 year old dudes and everything. I was just, I, I, I was just in shock, I think, at the whole moment, like the whole ride. I'm surprised I even remember half of it. But <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. I wish I was making some of that up just for a story, but it was 100%, 100% factual <laughs> the night I almost died. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that, that's my, those are my cop stories. Ben, you got one. You don't have any. You don't. You don't have any fun. Fun run-ins with the law, no, or I something don't. you should have been ran into the law. <laughs> yes, yeah, something that was stupid enough to get you arrested. I told you before, never get caught. Never get. <laughs> That's the point. What did you not get caught doing? Statue of limitations is up. You're good to go. No, I. Yeah, you I've did. Never, I've not gotten into a run-in. Like aside from driving at the time. The girl I was no, the girl I was seeing no, had bought a new car, so I had the car. Like we basically were just like, oh well, like I'll just take the car and pay you for it. So you that way. I think I was like looking for a new car at the time, and it had been so long since I've actually been in that process. Uh, like we just transferred the title. I was like, all right, we're good, uh, and then got pulled over for having no tags, and they thought I was like something like drug runner dude or something like that <laughs> um hell yeah and the only reason i got pulled over is because i was half awake driving down psl boulevard so like, i think i like i passed out at a light or i drifted oh, shit. A- oh yeah damn yeah not like not like drinking i was like not drunk <clears> at <throat> all i was just so tired and yeah, yeah. And so they're like what, what are you doing and i was like yeah, just- i thought like i i just transferred the tags that's all i had to do so <laughs> this reminds me of the time I was driving with you, Taylor. Me, you, and Aaron were doing something. I don't remember what. And then afterwards, we decided to drive back to her place um, to just, like, chill. And I was driving your car because you were drunk off your ass <laughs> from wherever we were from wherever we were coming from. And I was not used to – remember your Buick? It had all the action in the wheel. Like, you could turn yeah, it to the left or right for loose. a certain amount of time. Yeah. So – I wasn't used to that and I swerved once or twice in front of a cop and he pulled me over and I, I had to oh, explain yeah. that I was driving you home. I remember because you were drunk off of your ass and he's like, all right, just be more careful. And so we, Aaron calls us like, where are you guys? And you start cackling out of nowhere. You're <laughs> like, sounds- he, I was like, I just got pulled over and he's like, you're, you're like, he thought you were drunk as shit. <laughs> Like <laughs> just started laughing so hard, and to the point where you actually started making me swerve more, and he was still <laughs> near us. <laughs> uh, I forgot all late about night Port St. Lucie shenanigans. Yeah, they're, 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 the cops are literally hiding everywhere, like on PSO Boulevard and US One. <laughs> late night, you can get pulled over so easily. It's oh like, yeah, um, yeah. I got pulled over multiple times for. You remember the Palm City Bridge? That steep ass one going from Stewart yes. to Palm City. Well, if it's only like thirty going down that damn bridge, and it's like one of those bridges, it's like sketchy going down, you know, or going up too. And I was I used to work late nights in downtown, uh, not downtown, but in Stewart at the factory. It's like two or three in the morning. I want to get home, and I'm yeah. like going like sixty down that damn thing, and I'm taking the back roads <laughs> in the PSL. And the same cop pulled me over like three times in a matter of two weeks. And I told him each time, I was like, bro, I just want to get home. There's literally no one on these goddamn roads. And he let me he let me off the warning every time. I think he was so suspicious of me because I was driving a black Altima with black rims late night in Stewart, Florida. It's like, what are you up to, bud? <laughs> what you doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I just, whatever. <laughs> Anyone got a speeding ticket? I got a few. Oh, that's I mean, yeah, that's I the got only thing I've got. Uh, yeah. Only one, actually. 
Oh, only one? I did get I did get threatened that I was going to get shot by a cop once. By a cop? Yeah. Um it was more like a very hard warning, but I was like, damn dude, you didn't have to like calm down. It was it was like right after they passed whatever it was that every stop, no matter what it is for, requires a backup. So um it was a similar situation. Um wait, no, it wasn't. That was a different time. Apparently I've gotten pulled over a lot. But um for a while there, my old Corolla that I had, the brake lights were stuck on. Oh yeah. And yeah, and I got pulled over on Port St. Lucie Boulevard going home late one night from I think you I think it was me and you and Aaron hanging out again somewhere doing something and I was driving home. And um I just told the guy, I was like, I don't I didn't know they were on. I don't know. And he's like, well, you might want to check your pedal or like behind it or whatever. I'm like, okay. Um, and so he's he, anyway, he's waiting for the backup. And the one guy comes over to the side window and he's the one who's like, just make sure you get it fixed, whatever it is. I'm going to write you a warning. And they're back there talking and stuff. And I was, this, I was dumb, but I bent down and was pumping the brake like messing with it because because i was like why is it doing this and i was like kind of feeling around and it was in the dark and the guy came up and literally knocked on my window with the gun in hand oh jesus i was and and he was like he was like you're a real dumbass if you think you're gonna be doing that like like if you keep doing that i'm gonna you're gonna get shot and he's waving his gun around i'm like do you know where you are (laughs) you're in port st Lucie, dude like like I'm a dumb teenager driving his beater of a car trying, trying just trying to shit. get home. <laughs> yeah. Like take it, take it down a notch, bro. Like, yeah, but I completely forgot, forgot about that one. Uh, oh, the poor St. Lucie police force. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, uh, I ever tell you about that party I, I went to in uh, Orlando where I saw the poor St. Lucie police officers doing cocaine off the table. Just oh like hell yeah! High off his fucking <laughs> ass and everything. I was like, it "Sounds about right." <laughs> no, I won't, I, won't, I won't get into that one. Uh, I got breaking news. I just accidentally oh. op- I just accidentally opened my Instagram just to hit the okay. button because it's my natural instinct. Because I'm sad. Uh, a ver- <laughs> okay, a, a verified tracks. page. Yep, a verified page. You know that always posts. You know factual news. Uh, Unilad. Carol Baskin's ex-husband is found alive in Costa Rica. The one that everyone thinks is dead. What? The F- FBI has confirmed it. Yeah, this came out like a, a little while ago. Yeah, I, I just, I like just really saw it for the first... Just saw it for the first time. Um, he's been missing for decades, but they said that... Uh, the Baskin said that they said, My husband, Don Lewis, is alive and well in Costa Rica. They being the FBI. Well, glad Don there is still alive. There are so many... There are so many quarantiners right now upset upset <laughs> yeah <laughs> upset damn i guess the tigers didn't need him oh nope. man everyone wanted that 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 to be true so bad that's that's, that's wild they even did like a like a year ago they came out with another documentary based off of mm-hmm. that i believe huh. yep good times good times oh it just brought me back years ago well Damn. Now that now that we know we're low key felons and stuff in here, I think uh, I think we should head on out before we <laughs> expose some more stuff about us. <laughs> what did we learned this week, gentlemen. One three usual. two. <laughs> no. <laughs> one three one what? two. What? <laughs> one three one two, baby. Thirteen twelve. What? A cab. What is happening right now? Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a okay, joke. Okay, okay, okay. What we learned from like A-Cab, but in A-cab, numbers yeah. no one understands. <laughs> yeah, I'd have never heard it referred to that way, but now I... Now There's I part of me, like my angsty side of me, like really wants to get 12 uh, or uh, 1312, like on my knuckles. <laughs> and I just be like, yo, what's that number? I'm like, uh greatest don't, year you don't should get it in like you should get it in like old school like cholo style that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying shoulder blades. oh no i was gonna do just it on, massive on my knuckles but like like <laughs> big old no just commit <laughs> commit oh. it, just put it all the way across Nobody your back can see it then man <laughs> too white yeah R- right oh neck tat yeah that'll, that'll on do the throat it. yeah, yeah, yeah right throat. across the throat there you go Love that. <laughs> or what about under the eye right under the eye 
do 13, 12 on each side. Yeah, man. Throw a couple of teardrops way up there. I haven't killed anybody. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get on out of here. All right. Hope everyone has a good Hope week. Hope everyone has a good we'll week. We'll see you next one. one. Hope this everyone has a good week. We'll see you next one. Have a good week. We'll see you next one. We'll see you next one. Have a good week. We'll see you Have next time. Have a good day. Have a good night. Video to Toodles. Up. What are we doing? Toodles. Have a good day. Never know where Have we're a good going. week. <laughs> yes, and so I I quote, I quote that all the time when like just shits hitting the fan at work, and me and my me and my coworker just like what the fuck is going on? I was like never know where we're going. Know where we're going. Like, <laughs> God, that talk about unnecessary in that movie. Oh, Jesus. dude, that's like my favorite part. Also, yeah, <laughs> I apologize a little bit because that weed cookie's cooking in a little bit now, so. You had a weed what? cookie? I had, I had. You had a weed buddy, cookie, buddy. All right, let me tell you this. I don't care. You can do it. It's a bit. It, it just kicked I can in tell horde. By your eyes. It buddy, just kicked tell in, your eyes. It just kicked in horde. So horde. Oh, no, no, you were telling that whole story, and my my hands, my hand, I'm just doing this, and I was like, I can't move, man. This is. I'm just here. Uh, shit. What the hell was I just saying? Oh yeah, I just had a little tiny bit, like a little tiny bit, at like an hour and a half ago. I was like, oh, like that's, Emily. That's about right. Hour and let's a half. have a little bite. Like we're gonna have dinner, watch a show, we can hang out, uh, and then you know by the time the podcast <clears> is done, it'll be good, ready for bedtime. And yeah, yeah, we with the delay and everything, I was like, ah, oh, shit. At the first, at the first point of, uh, hold on, okay, I was making sure that wasn't Emily yelling at me for saying something, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Nope. I lost train of thought. <laughs> complete, complete train of thought lost. No idea what I was just talking about. We should definitely all pop an edible and do an episode. I Honestly, it, I think it'd be that's, pretty funny. That's part of the reason why I do it from time to time. Like when I'm not really feeling like I'm not, I don't have that energy. Yourself? Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm going to have like a little, like a beer and a little, and then I can mm-hmm. chit chat. But dude, I feel like if we all took an edible and did a podcast, it would turn into a lot of us just going <laughs> and staying <laughs> and saying stupid ass shit. Like we would. I think the people will be here for it. Uh, I mean, I we'll, it would be we'll, a funny it, theme for an episode. Honestly, it's just, it, it's just you and I and Andrew's trying to carry us along. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that would honestly be it. I think if I did take it, it would probably be. Um, this would be. I don't. I don't no. know if I would be funny or if I would just be wigging out the whole time. If I would be anxious, you're quiet. You're gonna be. That quiet. would have to I be something when Taylor comes down to North Carolina. We do a house podcast. Oh, yeah. Just get weird with it. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just set up a camera and welcome. Just, welcome to Boards of Death. Oh. We're getting weird with it today. <laughs> 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 I, I just I feel so bad when I do it because it always what? gets you like you think you're good you're like all right I've got a good window I just want to mm-hmm. be this and then like whack fuck you're on the ground <laughs> going, some, looks like some whack fuck over here <laughs> yeah dude I went to a party for like a Christmas party oh and uh, oh for who <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like we were all like it was, it was a bunch of wine and beer. We're all like it was like one of the other breweries and her bottle shop throwing it. So we're all just drinking and everything. And at the end of the night, uh, one of the people comes up and goes, "Hey Ben, here's a parting gift for you." Or like, "Do you do you <laughs> smoke weed?" And I was like, "No, I don't do that anymore. It's, it's I did it three times and played the best solo I ever have. Don't remember." Um. <laughs> But I was like, you know what? Sure. I was like, I'm 30 something years old. This is fine. Merry Christmas, Jesus. I, I can I can split a piece, and this would be like a fun, like, like just chill night with Emily. And 
And then I did this. And so I hope she's not dying out there on the couch. That's real quick. And I don't, I can edit this out if need be, but I just, it just occurred to me. I remember this story from when you were living with me and Aaron and you were just starting to meet people. <laughs> and I, will not- <laughs> I know exactly where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> And um, <laughs> I won't ne- I won't say who it was, but there were there were, was a couple that lived right next to us, and that we also knew, but uh, not really as well. And you're like, got invited to one of their parties, and they're having a, they're having a party, and you, you're like, I'm just gonna walk up there, hang out for a little bit, maybe say hi. I'm not probably not gonna stay long. I'm like, oh right, yeah, go do your thing. Um, man, and they're like, oh, he's going out there and meeting people. That's cool. Um, Proud of him. <laughs> you walk in. I, I wake up the next day and you're just not there. You never came home. And I'm like, um, where's Ben? And I look outside. You're, I, I don't know where you are. And eventually you, you walk through the door like, I don't know, like noon yeah. or something. And and you're like, yeah, that was, that was wild. That was wild last <laughs> night. Apparently he walked in the door and before he could even get a word out to anybody, the person who was hosting the party walked up and – forced her palm into his face and said, lick. And oh, he like pan- panicked and licked. And there was a piece of a tab of acid or something like that. You on tripped her hand. acid. And he was just like, what's that look? Either you're not remembering or what? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I thought this was going in a whole nother direction. There, there's a few stories where this is involved. Oh my God. Yeah. There's a few stories. There's a few stories. I remember the lick. No, do you remember I this? I remember the lick. I don't. Yeah, apparently a couple of other things got had at some point in the night and Ben just had a wild old time. <laughs> see, he got right into the Asheville spirit. I don't see. I don't think we're thinking of the same party because there was, there was one thing like the Thanksgiving party. I was out until four or five in the morning. Well, I, I don't remember. I remember that. I want to say it was earlier. Yeah, I want to say it wasn't that late. And like you weren't there for that long. Like because you, you, you moved in, up with us in the summer. Mm-hmm. I want to say it was like maybe a month or two in because um, me and you like a month after you get in there, maybe even was the first time we ever hung out at burial with when you kind of started to meet everybody. And it was shortly after that, if I remember right. But I. That sounds like that sounds like Friendsgiving, because I mean that would have been like a little after something like that. Yeah, that was that was the party where I saw uh, now a good friend of mine at the time had no idea who he was walking down with a trash bag full of drugs. It was just it was a party bag. Oh yeah, and I I had favors. I'm like I showed up with cookies (laughs) and beer and was like, hey, here's welcome. (laughs) And uh, I got soda. Yeah. And I mean, I didn't I don't. <laughs> that would have been me. That night, I didn't do anything. Like, I, I'm not into that with especially especially with people I don't know or meeting for the first time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't I, there's there was a couple of times that I came home like as you were leaving for work. And I was like, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you was, coming from? Was, I thought you were back already. What? <clears throat> what, Taylor? I was gonna say the old walk, the old walk of shame. Well, because we live so close, and, and most of the time, like, because I'm a night owl. Like, if I've got something to do at three in the morning, if I don't care if I've got to work at up. twelve, I'm active. I'm yeah. going. Um, and when I was first hanging out with like those, those that crowd is it was all a bunch of talking, honestly, just like having a couple of beers and just like yeah. it would devolve into having a mini emo night and like singing along to early two thousands crap. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing nefarious. Okay, I, I was just out having hangs. I thought you yeah, were you talking. Defend, you ain't defending yourself. <laughs> no, I thought you yeah. were talking about the one time I was seeing someone, and they basically invited themselves over to the place when I was still living with you, and I and I'm like, that. I don't know what to do here. I'm too nice of a person. Like, I'm just like, uh, okay. And we're like heading up into my room to go hang out. And I just like look at Andrew and mouth. Help me. Yes. I have never he, had. He's that literally before. going up the stairs. 
And he's like, help me. <laughs> yeah. I can just I, I can see I can see the sitting on the couch and you like bending over because the stairs like go there. Yep. <laughs> <Help me. laughs> Literally, I, Aaron was I there remember too. that vividly. Aaron was there too, I think. Yeah, we were sitting on the couch because when you both went out of view, we just looked at each other like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was just, I was, too nice. I was just like, I don't know. Uh, it's the first time I've ever been in a very weird situation like that. I, I you know, <laughs> I forget y'all lived together. What was it, a year? A year and no, a half it was a couple, it was a couple months. No, by the time I, just like six months, months or yeah, something. Yeah, when I moved. Because before land, they knew. Uh, actually, yeah. When it, okay, so when he moved in with us, <laughs> so it was right when the child was conceived, I believe, if I remember. We, uh, I'm not gonna go into that, but um, <laughs> but he ben came to visit. Asleep. He came to visit. No, 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 no. He came to visit, and it was in July, and then he moved up. It was like August. I want to say like the first, first of August. Yeah, it was the first weekend of August, if I remember it. Yeah, and um. We found out like three weeks later. Yeah. No, it was yeah. like, a, it was literally got, a couple yeah. of weeks of being. And we, him. yeah. And we we're like, oh my God, we just invited Ben to be here. I know here. that's like, what I was what thinking. The hell? I remember in my head, I'm yeah. like, well, they need that room now. <laughs> and yeah. And, and we told him in the middle of the grocery store, we, we did a household grocery store trip and just, and, and he's wondering like why Aaron can't have all this random stuff that seems so every day, like no problem, whatever. I was like, why are you on some weird diet or something? And I just like told him he, he collapsed on the floor in the grocery <laughs> store. He's like, what? <laughs> um, but you moved out February. Yeah, February. I mm-hmm. remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So whatever that is, August to February. Yeah. Well, yeah about, about half a year. Yeah. And then I moved into my own place yeah. and met Emily a little while later. I think it was a year later. I stayed there once. Uh, I remember you met Emily. Were, were you met Emily way before you started dating her? Oh, okay. I'm thinking. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Uh, it. We met in yeah. November. I got my own place in February. Started hanging out in mm-hmm. June, and then I moved in. Yeah. I've only met Emily like once, so. <laughs> yeah. So there you I, go. A little history lesson. <laughs> I don't know. Have you met Emily? Yeah. It, it was no. It was when Jade and I came up. And oh, before he moved, go to brunch with us. It, yeah, it was kind of like, hey, we're moving back, but let's all hang out this yeah. weekend before I head back and stuff. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. Like we did like that tourist town with the minerals and shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. 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 Ah, uh, yes. Yep. But, yep. That's the only time I met Emily. So, but I didn't even really meet her then too. I remember she was like dropping you off. And she's there for like a minute. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because she had to go to work, and we would all went to brunch. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So. Yep. Now you know. I hate to cut it short, guys. But I gotta go to work. I gotta go poop. Actually, same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop recording. <laughs>